Good evening. Tonight we're going to talk about r slash Herman Cain award. Don't believe everything you hear on fake news. I never had the Wuhan flu because it doesn't exist. Okay, the Herman Cain. Ignore the outrage. Ignore the thugs. Defy the violence and left-wing shaming. Tonight's Tulsa Trump rally will be one for the history books. America is here tonight, and the Tulsa rally crowds are unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masks will not be mandatory for the event, which will be attended by President Trump. People are fed up! Here's just a few of the black voices for Trump at tonight's rally, having a fantastic time. Just for the record, that was on June 20th, 2020. And now on July 2nd, 2020, we are sorry to announce that Herman Cain has tested positive for COVID-19 and is currently receiving treatment in an Atlanta area hospital. Please keep him and all who are battling this virus in your prayers. It makes sense they'd ask for prayers because prayers are essentially meaningless and nothing, just like he thought COVID was. July 30th, Herman Cain dies from coronavirus. Oh, who could have seen that coming? But that's not the end of it. After he died, his account tweeted this. It looks like the virus is not as deadly as mainstream media first made it out to be. <laughs> You're dead! His Twitter account tweeted this after he fucking died! CDC now says 94% of COVID deaths had an underlying condition. Being overweight counts as an underlying condition. And in the United States, overweight and obese people are about 73% of the population. And thusly, this brings us to the Herman Cain Award subreddit. The posts on here are nominees and recipients of the Herman Cain Award. That is to say, people who denied the validity of COVID-19, who then go on to contract it themselves and often get hospitalized in the process. We're gonna look at some of the top posts of all time. Just so y'all know, this is gonna be a dark one. That's why the lights are dark and I'm dressed in funeral attire. Lauren was an unvaccinated registered nurse. Don't be like Lauren. What do you have for me, Lauren? Oh, look, the virus is still here and it's raining again. Okay. Bah ha 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 ha. I walked in on Hunter and his friends vaccinating themselves. This is the unity we need. Did he do heroin? I thought he smoked crack. Even the fully vaccinated are dying, so please stop the shit. More than half of those who died had at least one underlying medical condition. Hey, what do you know? Here it is again. <laughs> I heard the government is putting chips inside of people. I hope I get Doritos. How do you tell people that you're an American without telling them you're an American? Here we go. This is a good one. Make New York great again. Mike Lindell holding a pillow. I I'm assuming he's going to suffocate Andrew Cuomo. That's nice. New York City will require proof of vaccination to enter all restaurants restaurants, gyms, and indoor venues. This is just the beginning. I don't care who you are or what you believe. Everyone needs to understand this is very bad. Well, yeah, it is because of people like you. If you are coming for the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in you way. I'm standing in your way. Governor Ron DeSantis responded Wednesday to President Joe Biden, who said he and blah, blah, blah. Second day of high school received an email from the principal. Seven positive COVID cases on campus already. Huh. Wow, who could have predicted that? For all my liberal friends who voted for Biden-Harris, many of you were very vocal about your hatred for Trump. So, are you proud of your team? Proud of the way things are going? Proud about Afghanistan? Where's your girl Kamala? In hiding? Are you happy about all the COVID-positive illegals being let into this country? I'm listening. Actually, yeah, I am pretty happy. I got into an argument a while back of someone who said they wouldn't vote for Biden because they weren't going to vote for an imperialist. Well, guess what? Biden's president and we're out of Afghanistan. Fuck you. See you guys in about a week. Pornhub video interracial couple fuck entire nation. Okay, if you say so. I guess it was a matter of time. Both myself and my son tested positive for COVID-19 today. Who could have seen that coming, I wonder. This COVID is kicking my butt. I managed to do laundry today, clean clothes piled on my bed, shoved them to one side and climbed to the bed. Zzz, night, night. I've had days like that. COVID day four update. Last night was rough. My fever went to 103.5. I went to urgent care this morning and they started me on doxycycline and a medrol dose pack. My cough is terrible and I have body aches. Thankfully, Aiden is doing much better than me. He has a stuffy nose and a cough, but it sure as hell has not affected his appetite. Thank you for checking in on us. Well, COVID has kicked my ass, officially. My fever broke today and I thought I was going to turn the corner, but the fun was only about to begin. 
I tried to do a few little chores, but found myself getting short of breath. My pulse ox was 78. Not good. So I'm in the ER. I'm on oxygen. My chest x-ray shows COVID pneumonia. <sighs> I'm going to be admitted. I will update as I can. Thank you all so much. Good morning. Thank you all so much for reaching out and praying to me. I do not really have any changes to report as of yet today. I'm still on IV antibiotics and steroids plus remdesivir. I am on high amounts of oxygen and even get winded with that. Therefore, I don't feel much like talking. I'm hoping things start to improve. If my doctors have anything to say, I will be sure to write more later. Take care of yourselves. This COVID is no joke. I managed the first few days at home well until I developed COVID pneumonia, which was a game changer. It literally took my breath away. Half a day later, I believe. I'm in shock right now and so heartbroken. A friend of mine lost her life today to COVID. Lauren was one of a kind and she always took the time to check in on me and let me know she was praying for me. Lauren was a registered nurse, frontline worker in Miami. She gave her all to help others. She just tested positive for COVID one week ago and ended up in the hospital of COVID pneumonia. I really thought she was going to pull through. My heart goes out to her teenage son and her sister. They were so very close. Please pray for them. Rest in peace, Lauren. So just so we're clear, right? I don't feel happy about this. This fucking sucks. But you know, you're not the only person in the world. Your actions do have consequences, and they extend to the people around you. I'm dead, but the virus was a hoax. I gave you scientists that created a vaccine, but you were too selfish to protect yourself and other people. The conspiracy goes higher than I thought! This is a good post about how Republicans have consistently downplayed this and have aided and abetted the spread of a pandemic. We don't need to read all that, though. That's not what we're here for. Update. Declining my reward. Good job. All right, folks. Here we have another award winner. David. I'm a proud conservative, constitutional Trump supporter. If that bothers you, Co fefe off. Uh, I'm sure this is a pleasant individual. I don't care if you've had your vaccine. DeSantis 2024, make America Florida. What a f fucking dystopian nightmare that would be. Fun fact, if you have a cute puppy or kitten in your profile picture, we are more likely to accept your friend request. Also fun fact, unless you're wearing a mask and have a stay at home, save lives frame. Wonderful individual. And here he is about writing some poem. I'm gonna be honest, David, I don't wanna read that. When you go into a business in Oregon and they ask you for your name and address for contact tracing, tell them I'm blank, my address is blank, 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 blank. If they ask you for ID, just scream, that's racist! And if they tell you to leave, be sure to cough on them first. Like I said, what a wonderful individual. Updated his cover photo, bunch of sheep wearing masks. Yeah, yeah. Praying for David. He's been in the hospital for a month and his lovely wife is trying her best to be strong. And this is a link to a fundraiser because in America, they don't have money for, for medical expenses because David here fucking voted for politicians who think that healthcare is a fucking communism. And finally, rest in peace, my dear old friend David. I'm gonna miss you so much. Tragic waste of life. Here's a feel-good one, though, to follow that up with. Screw COVID. Screw my anti-COVID vax parents. Screw you guys. I'm disqualifying myself from this award. And here's a picture of him with his vaccination card. Good job. Good job, my guy. And the next award goes to... Ryan F. Around. Found out. Guess who hasn't stayed home, hasn't worn a mask everywhere, and hasn't caught coronavirus? I use the George Carlin quote, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups quite often. Oh, he doesn't realize it. <laughs> George Carlin was not a conservative. He would have fucking despised you people. Defund the Facebook police, okay? Meet Steve. He chooses to wear a mask. He realizes this is his choice and takes charge of his health in this way. He doesn't care what others do. This is Mike. He chooses to eat healthy make smart choices, and not wear masks. <laughs> he has researched and made an informed decision. He doesn't care what others do. I guess he's not doing that informed of a decision then. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's Sam. He thinks you want him dead if you don't wear a mask. True! You better wear one, or he will tell you how selfish you are. He trusts the government. They know what's best, and you better do it. Oh, is that how you view this? Fun fact. Government doesn't want all of us dead, because if we all fucking die, who's gonna pay taxes? Think! 
Think about it for a little bit more than just a simple, I don't like the government. My immune system, after not washing my hands before I eat, not wearing a mask, eating in restaurants, and getting other people's sweat on me at the gym. Your immune system, after constantly hand sanitizing, wearing a mask in the car, doing curbside pickup, and staying at home unless it's absolutely necessary. Eh, this isn't exactly how it works, my guy. I had a conversation with an Amish gentleman yesterday while I was loading at the mill, and at the end of the conversation, he asked me one question that, was, that should really get one thinking. He asked, do you know why this virus hasn't affected us yet? No? Well, because we don't have television. <laughs> COVID-19 has hit the Amish community hard. Still, vaccines are a tough sell. Through the pandemic, mask wearing and social distancing have been spotty. As a result, these communities have experienced some of the highest, some of the state's highest rates of infection and death. Coronavirus is weakening. Could die on its own without vaccine. Italian expert. Doing some heavy lifting there, huh? And... Rip cuz. Lost my cousin Ryan last night due to COVID compilations. Ryan was the nicest guy. The type of person that would go out of his way for you. He would literally give you the shirt off his back if you needed one. And he's dead. But like, really? This is the guy who would go out of his way for me? But here he is posting the same shit about I'm not going to wear a mask. All right. Sure. Seems like you knew a very different Ryan than the rest of the world did. I'm afraid his legacy will live on in this form. Again, none of us fucking want to be here. But you know what? At this point, I'm... Fucking sick of trying to reason with these people. We're fucking done. I don't get why Dems want us vaccinated so bad. Let people who want to get vaccinated get vaccinated. Those that don't, won't. If the vaccine works, then what the fuck are you even bitching about? Let us die. We will no longer be a problem and y'all can defund the police and shit. Well, the way things are going, it looks like that's actually what's going to happen. I'd rather you not die, Crystal, because I'm someone who has principles and I extend them to people whom I consider my ideological opponents. I know conservatives don't extend that to us, though. We can argue about vaccines all day. Maybe I'm right. You're not. Maybe you're right. I am. Maybe you're wrong. I'm not. Maybe I'm wrong. You are. But one thing nobody can deny is that at this juncture, these vaccines are 100% experimental. I have dinosaur nuggets in my freezer older than these vaccines. All my people should already know. If you're looking for a sign, this might be it. Your conspiracy theorist friends are telling you the truth. Start researching what they post. Oh, man. Okay, dude. Yeah, you got it. (laughs) Joe Biden gave Gaza, parentheses Hamas, $150 for COVID response. Hamas used the money to buy weapons of mass destruction. Launched a thousand rockets from the Gaza Strip onto Israel. Joe Biden is financing international terrorists for some reason and no one seems to care. Wow, every part of that is fucking made up bullshit. These people don't operate in reality. Also, rockets are not fucking weapons of mass destruction. Oh, it's Joe Biden wearing a Hitler mask. Nice. Quoting our dictator, the rule is now simple. Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. The choice is yours. Just imagine if the bad orange man tweeted something like this. I would have gotten behind it, though, if he did. I would have been like, hmm, that's like surprisingly intelligent from you. Are you okay? Oh my god, can't even fucking write. What the hell is this? Get vaccinated or wear a mask until you do. Bye, Dan. Because I ain't doing it ever. Why you worried about me getting sick? Let me worry about me. Half the country has already done it. That's just a way to push people into it. The Bible tells us about this. How can you not see it? Ironically, the Bible does tell you how to stop a pandemic, and you're not following it. Don't don't expect them to actually know anything in the Bible. They just say, oh, this is part of the Bible, because they want to think it. They want to justify what they already believe. How can you not see it? Already travel restrictions, shopping restrictions, etc. Unless vaccinated, sounds awful close to the mark of the beast to me. And it also says millions upon millions will be tricked into taking it. It also sounds awful familiar in Revelations. You have never fucking read Revelations, Crystal. I'll leave this here. Vaccines prevent the contraction spread of disease. If you get COVID vaccine, you can still get COVID. That's not a vax at all. That's a placebo at best. So many problems with this vax because vaxes take between 10 to 15 years to research a study before being used on the public. That's not true, actually. Even, like, the vaccines, like, for measles and whatnot are not 100% effective. But it doesn't fucking matter because if enough people get it, 
functionally, it eliminates the virus anyway. Just saying, and emojis. Funny how we were all raised not to be peer pressured into taking experimental drugs, and now we're all being pressured into taking experimental drugs! Oh my god, it's almost like the pandemic changed the dynamic of things, and it's almost like a fucking vaccine is not something you use recreationally. It's almost like these are not comparable, Crystal. So I'm gonna agree with a very wise man I followed a long time and jump the gun and say Fauci did not kill himself. Me reading Fauci's leaked emails after losing friends being told I'm crazy for a year because I said he was a fraud. Why is it that these people really hate Fauci and they say he's a fraud and all these things, but they never actually say what he's done? They can never cite anything. It's always just a vague threat. If COVID is so deadly, why hasn't it killed all the homeless? They live outside, no social distancing, no masks, they can't wash their hands, they don't have a TV. One study showed the mortality rate of homeless people was 75% higher in New York City. Oh my god. Of course, you know, the lethality of COVID isn't like 100%, so... This is like a stupid ass argument to begin with anyway. They don't have a TV. Yeah, you, you got it. You got it. Is this just like a veiled fantasy of this person saying, oh, I wish it would kill all the homeless. Look, it's the super mega Delta Plus Pro Deluxe strain. See, nobody cares. I mean, I tried saying it. COVID-19 deaths and injuries. And then it says like 5,000 in the United States, 25,000 injuries. Not true. Today, no mask, no entry. Tomorrow, no vaccine, no job. Someday soon, no microchip, no rights. Well, seeing as you're posting this on Facebook, they don't need to put a microchip in you. You're already willingly accepting it. I know these people are, they, they can't think about it. Joe, please, you ain't fooling me. Smoke, painting, mining, pesticides, radioactive. The deadliest virus in history. Yeah, because this mask stops you from spreading. The other masks stop you from inhaling. I get it though. The idea of stopping something from you to other people is is like kind of like a selfless thing. And it's like, pff, that's un-American. I'm not going to do that. OMG, it's real and I looked it up. America better wake the fuck up. Nazi Germany started the same way, making people wear identity armbands. Dear Plexiglass, thank you for protecting me from the cashier. Just touched every single item I'll be taking home with me. No, it's it's to protect the cashier. I agree. Retail workers have gotten really fucked over with this pandemic. History always repeats itself. Welcome to the new normal. But is it really new? Show me your papers! History always repeats itself. This is only the beginning. Oh, this German's asking for papers. Oh, this police asking for papers. Yeah, well, guess what? How many times did the police ask you to show your ID? All the fucking time. We already live in the fucking police state. I, I get it, though. They, they target minorities more, so it's okay. And the winner is... So am I gonna make it through, guys? Last night was so bad, I thought for sure I was checking out. I was literally screaming and crying out to God. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't know what to do to get any relief. God called my beautiful friend Crystal home last night. Please pray for her three kids, family, and friends in the coming days. And just like that, COVID doesn't care. COVID will take you regardless of whatever you post on your Facebook. Next up we have, this is Mike. Prolific share of conservative Republican memes. Sometimes 50 a day. Christ, that's like, that's a problem. Things didn't end well for him. At this point, I'm willing to say, you know, Zuckerberg might be accessory, an accessory to all these people dying. I want the truth. Facebook keeps banning the truth. And it's from uh, a few good men. Yeah, is that what they do? Is, is that what it is? Is that what it is, Mike? COVID, control, oppress, victimize, isolate, divide. Uh-huh, spray paint on hay, kind of trashy. No masks, no lockdown, honk if you're done with the bullshit. 23 stab wounds, a rattlesnake bite, Six bullet holes and half his torso missing. What do you think, Ducky? It's clearly COVID-19, Jethro. All right, a uh, counter argument here. If I, like, go up to your grandma, right? And I, and she's like an old woman, right? She has trouble walking and moving around. She has a pacemaker in her heart. She had a heart attack a few years ago. And I walk up to her and I, and I, and I push her and I just push her down a flight of stairs. Boom, 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 boom. Grandma goes smack all the way down. Smack, smack. Smack, smack. And then she has a heart attack and dies. That heart attack might be the thing that killed her, but 
Guess what? I pushed her down the flight of stairs. I'm responsible for this. Fauci, no doubt Trump will face surprise infectious disease outbreak. Oh, I'm not surprised with that. That happens like during every presidency. But this one was just a whole lot worse than its infectious rates. Compared to Ebola and AIDS and Zika virus and swine flu and mad cow disease, pandemics keep popping up over time. That's That always happens. There's 7 billion people in the world. There's a lot of potential. It's just COVID-19 was a hell of a lot more infectious than all the others were. Deep down, you know, this is unnecessary and cruel. What, sending kids to school? I agree. <laughs> Democrats, check their temperature. Still stupid. Wow, destroyed. How come the only people still worried about COVID are the people that are vaccinated from it? I don't know. Principles? To all my friends out there, Mike is in the hospital. He's in ICU COVID and on a ventilator. Please pray. My good friend Mike passed away from COVID. At 1.42 a.m., his daughter-in-law texted me the news. Mike always had your six. A good man gone too soon. <sighs> My Department of Corrections and Law Enforcement family, let keep Mike, Mike's family in prayer. My heart is heavy and saddened. I don't have anything to say. The next winner, Kristen. Anti-vax mom of four did her research. Don't be like Kristen. Unmuzzled, unvaccinated, unafraid, unmasked. Together we win. Free thinker. <laughs> Question everything. Research mandatory. Give a voice to the vaccine injured. <laughs> Moms for liberty. Uh-huh. Calling all my prayer warriors. <laughs> my sister Kristen is in the hospital fighting for her life against COVID and pneumonia. My sister has a long life left. We need you here, sissy. Your kids love and miss you so much. Please don't give up. I do not care about your opinion on vaccinated or not. This is not political. Eh, you sure about that? <laughs> this is a request for every prayer, every ounce of strength you all have to help my sister pull through this. Well, this probably happened a while ago, so I can say it now. Prayers are bullshit and don't do anything. God's not real. Asking for prayers is essentially saying, you know, keep me in your thoughts, but don't actually do anything. Meanwhile, the Chad fucking scientists over here come out with the fucking vaccine so you don't die and leave your four children behind. It's, it's really not a complicated thing. I get it, you'd rather stick with your prayers instead of the vaccine because it makes the dopamine receptors in your brain feel better, but I'm sorry, you're not the only one in the world, you know. Rest in peace, Kristen. She died from COVID, mother of my stepbrother, young girls, nieces, and blah blah. For my sister and her babies. And there's a GoFundMe for funeral expenses because this is a hellhole of a country. Mark shitposts his way to an award. Wife denies he won it and resumes shitposting. Hey guys, the mayor said you gotta have a mask on. What'd he say? I don't know. Something about sucking dick. Nice! Y'all mad because I refuse to wear a mask. Don't worry, I'll be refusing the vaccine too. I don't care what anybody says. I still think COVID-19 is bullshit. Got more people dying of the common flu and drug overdoses. I don't know about that. Not to mention 20 to 30% of the population having serious long-term or permanent damage to their bodies, specifically their lungs but I guess we only care about deaths. Why do we care about that? Why do you care about that? I think permanent disability is something to care about. I'm one of these people. Wearing a mask is pointless. Top health officials and scientists from around the world, exclamation point, have said masks do not protect you from getting or spreading the COVID-19 disease. Not true, bitch! You need an N95 or better to stop, to fully protect you from getting it from other people, but wearing anything over your face, even just fucking cloth, is gonna significantly cut down on the spread of the droplets that spread. I, I get it, I know that's un-American, the idea of helping other people selflessly. So why are certain places being mandated to wear them if they do not work? Come on, people, you need to stop being sheep. Mag. They have already admitted to padding the numbers to make them higher. This may be ableist or classist of me, but like, why the fuck can't you like fucking write right? If you want me to respect your intellectual arguments, you need to like have some basic grammar. Looking at you, angry YouTube comments. The heat is supposed to kill COVID-19, so why are we having a spike in the middle of the summer if the temperature are well over 80? I'll tell you why, because it's all political. We're having a spike in the middle of the summer because y'all fucking idiots don't want to take basic fucking measures to stop the spread of a pandemic. This is a lot. Wanna know why I refuse to wear a mask? It's because while a shit ton of you all got to sit at home and spending all your time with the kids, family, taking vacation after vacation and bringing home great unemployment each week because of this bullshit unemployment, I've been out working my ass off for four months while y'all have to live the high life. 
Is unemployment the high life? Y'all locked down. We didn't. Y'all quarantined. Some of us did. Y'all gotta have a damn life while I was essential. I didn't, I didn't have much of a life at all. I've spent pretty much the last couple years in my house. Did my job without bitching. Are you really working? And you know what I got out of it? Not an extra 600 for actually being in danger around this shit every day because for every day while you did not. Oh my god. Fucking grammar, dude. Not an extra 600 for actually being in danger around this shit all day, every day, while you did nothing. You all are scared of this virus. I am not. I have been out in this shit every single day for four months and haven't worn a mask. Um, yeah, go pet the alligator, Mark. So while y'all locked up and watched the news and listened to the bullshit governors in Congress, I buckled down and helped keep you up and running for literally pennies compared to what you're making for doing nothing. Now you want to dictate how I live my life four months into this crap? Hell no, your fear is your problem. Mark should have unionized. I'm a guess you voted against that too, right? Yeah. So I was unloading at a disposal well on Friday afternoon. Hot topic nowadays is COVID-19. Me and some other drivers are chit-chatting about how we think it's a crock of bullshit. Then walks another driver, listens for about five minutes, and and don't say nothing. They chimes in and says, well, listen to this. He goes on to tell us his wife's grandmother had been living with them, and she passed away a little over two months ago at the age of 93. She passed away at home peacefully in her sleep, and everyone's sick. So when they got the death certificate, the cause of death was listed as COVID-19. All family members inside the home were tested and came back negative. Stinking emoji. So they fought with them and got their attorney involved. Autopsy was done. The woman came back negative for COVID-19, died of natural causes. This is in the hospital south north of us yeah i don't believe this for a second mark this is bullshit come on don't don't fuck with me like it's very obvious when all of y'all make shit up it's like oh yeah here's another guy that i know it, it's, it's totally not totally a real person totally not lying right my girlfriend is totally real she goes to another school she's from france see what people fail to realize is for every positive test the county has they get federal money for every person put on a ventilator, that hospital gets 30000 per day when you're on that ventilator. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. That's, that's how it works, right? This shit is all about money and politics. People need to wake up before it's too late. Ironically, yeah, people like you should wake up before it's too late. In the beginning of this, I just said stay home, give it 30 days. If it's real, it'll go away. Now, four months later, you can clearly tell it's bullshit. When is the American people going to say enough is enough? Well... We said enough is enough, and we made the Herman Cain Award. Liberals recommending forcing every American to get a mandatory coronavirus vaccine. They better come well-armed and ready to fight. I hope they kiss their wife, and they're spelled wrong, and kids goodbye. And make peace with their God before they show up at my house. Wow, what a, what a lovely person you are, Mark. Very urgent. Whoever has been in contact with me anyway over the last 15 days should see a doctor or go to the ER. Sorry, my friends and family, too. Well, I've had symptoms for a few days now, but it's only now been confirmed. I am very sorry. I've been diagnosed with being an asshole, not giving a shit, and being extremely contagious. Thank you for your attention. Come on, what, I scared you a little? Who reads till the end? Are you sure you want to be making that joke, Mark? Mike Dewine, you can suck my dick. If you think you're going to tell me what I do at my own house, you don't pay my bills. The home gathering should be limited to 10 people or less. Hey, what's that? Someone in the government is telling me to take an action that's probably going to help protect the health and f the health and safety of my friends and family. Then you can suck my dick! <laughs> Celebration of life benefit. Mark. He's dead. But then, here we go. I swear at this point, if I hear the word COVID one more time, I'm gonna go postal. This is beyond insanity. Even after losing my husband to supposed COVID, I still refuse to get that shot. All the rules and regulations keeping people from their loved ones as they're on the vent and dying, and you're worried about keeping their loved ones from COVID? If it's their immediate family, such as spouse or children, then they've already been exposed. But oh wait, when I decide to remove the vent, they can peacefully pass through all those ridiculous ass it rules and regulations Regulations go out the window. Fuck COVID. <laughs> and tagged 99 people. Fuck COVID and that damned needle. I'm not vaccinated. Don't like it. Stay the fuck away from me. We've been reiterating this time and time again. We can't fucking reason with these people. Their loved ones fucking die and they still think COVID is fucking fake. What do you do with people like this? You can't reason with them. You can't make them see the light. You can make a subreddit about a Herman Cain award and post about them fucking dying apparently. Vicky loves her parakeets the Confederate flag, and not taking the vaccine. The birds are now dead, the South won't rise again, and update Vicky won't either. What a title. I support the Confederate flag. Eh, it's not the Confederate flag, it's the Confederate battle standard. Nice try, Vicky. This man loves me beyond measure, not only did he take off work, 
because of his wife being depressed, being cooped in the house till my truck got fixed. He also ordered something I have been trying to get for over a year, my bread a 9mm. You capitalized M.M. Yeah, oh, this is not a good writer. And it's, uh, got, it's, uh, yeah, bread a 9mm with the, uh, COVID. COVID, fuck. The Confederate battle standard on it. The other American flags. Mmm, more like the other traitor flags. Washed beast yesterday. Got another flask for my collection. Yikes. Yeah. That's, that's disturbing. Due to my white privilege, I'll be donating my COVID-19 vaccine shot. Someone less fortunate, no need to thank me. Raffle, like I have white privilege, but hey, can still keep their vaccine. Well, I mean, uh, you got a nice truck, not gonna lie. That is a nicer vehicle than I drive. It looks like the windows work on yours. <laughs> I have felt alone a lot with all my health problems. Here lately, my independence is on hold till I quit passing out because I can't trust my body. Most of my blood family are in the graveyard, even one of my sons, but through it all, God never left my side, neither did my husband. We have been through a lot together and I know he is concerned about my health. He's a very good man and I love him dearly. Actually kind of sweet. Then that's followed up by, I don't care if you've had your vaccine. I choose not to because they are all in their trial stages and they don't know how long the term for long term effects yet. You get one that is your choice. No vaccine for HIV after 40 years of research. No vaccine for the common cold. No vaccine for cancer after 100 years of research. Nothing. A virus mysteriously appears and within a year a vaccine is created. We've all expected to take it. No thanks. There's actually a couple explanations for this. First off, with COVID-19, there's been a strong concerted effort from around the world to develop a vaccine for it, the likes of which we haven't actually seen before. That's why it was so quick. we were so quick at getting out compared to these others. Also, there hasn't really been a need for an HIV vaccine, partly because it's, it's relatively rare and partly because we have other medications that already stop the spread of it. We also have the HIV cocktail that pretty much knocks out just about every symptom of HIV. Because of that, there hasn't been as much of a need or incentive or concerted effort to develop a vaccine for HIV. Moving on, no vaccine for the common cold. The common cold is actually a few hundred to a few thousand different kinds of bacteria and viruses. It's not one singular thing. There's not going to be a cure for it. It's very difficult to have a cure for something that that's very wide and varied. There's no single one virus that is the common cold. It makes up a whole bunch of stuff that's relatively weak. No vaccine for cancer. Cancer operates in a similar way. There are several different kinds of cancer, although there has been research into it and some of it looks promising, but we're not quite there yet. Also, cancer is like incredibly common and widespread. A lot of people actually have cancer cells in them right now. Just normally, the human body is able to fight it off. To each their own, not putting it in my body, I don't care who knows it, yep. Asking prayers for my wife. Thought she would be a bit better by now, but she is still having dizziness and passing out from sinus ear infection. Thanks and God bless. Oh no. Latest update on Vicky, staying in hospital of course, tested positive for COVID and flu A. I will not get to go back and see her. Waiting a bit to see if doctor says anything else before I decide to leave. Hate to, but no, it doesn't do any good. Please pray for us, thank you and God bless. Honestly, one of the worst parts about this is these people fucking clogging up all the hospitals. Imagine all the other people who have like the standard reasons for going to a hospital. And, and it's like, well, now the hospital's filled with all these COVID people who still think COVID isn't real. Update on Vicky. Talk to doctor, her oxygen levels are below 50, so they put her on vent. Ugh. No test results yet. Waiting on being able to see her. Doc thinks COVID pneumonia, but not sure until tests are back. Do know they'll be keeping her overnight. Keep praying, thanks. Need prayers this morning. My wife is getting worse. I have ambulance coming for her now. Thank you and God bless. Do you want to know what's sad? I watched everyone at the ER just pray about it and didn't see anyone use the little chapel to pray. They could have prayed in their seat. I don't know. I have no problem opening that door, walking and having a good old fashioned talk with the good Lord. Yeah, there was some crying, but you know what? What I said last week still stands. I have an awesome and big God. <laughs> I know he has everything in control. His control. Love you all. Thanks for the prayers and concerns. God bless you all. I love you. I'm sorry, Clint. God's not real. But if he was, you know, he did send the vaccine to us. Not just one vaccine. He sent us several. Well, one of Vicky's parakeets, Leo, died and had to bury him about 20 minutes ago. It comment Vicky would be very sad to know her bird has died. So she would. She loved all her animals. Okay, Vicky doing a little better today. Back down to 45% on vet. O2 staying at 96. Vitals good. No extra today since yesterday looked good. 
Another parakeet died today. Possible they caught code from us. Thanks for the prayers. I thought I posted earlier after seeing Vicky, but guess I forgot with all going on. My apologies. See, she seemed to be a little bit self-aware. Believe she knew I was there at least because I believe she cried on me. Her eyes were open some, but all things considered, she looked okay. Told her everyone was praying for her and to get better. Talked off and on for an hour, just trying to be comforting and letting her know a little bit about what, what has went on. No, I didn't tell her about the dead parakeets. Has been hard to see her like that, but at least I knew what I was getting into before I even went to saw her. Before I ever even saw her. Yeah. We'll be sending her to a specialty to get her waned off the vent and all. Not sure where at, at, at latest first of next week. We'll let know as soon as I can. Vicky update. Has not done well today. They tried to take her completely off sedation this morning around 5.30. However, it did not go well. Her oxygen level dropped into the low 80s when they did. Not sure what is causing that unless the infection in her lungs is still too bad. The COVID and flu is gone, but the infection does still remain. This is nerve wracking. Came home, saw the brand new dress I had bought for her hanging on the bathroom door and lost it. Cried for about 10 minutes. She loved her dress, bought another one like it, but different color, but never got to wear them. I can only hold up so much, crying even as I type, lol. No, Clint, that's not an lol. That's, that's not an lol. That's fucking awful. Don't know how this is going to go, but regardless of how it goes, I still have Jesus, and I know she does too. Love you all, appreciate the prayers, God bless. Everyone is going to find out sooner or later, so I'm just going to post it. Vicky passed away around 3.20 today. Appreciate all the prayers that has gone up. She is healed in the way I was hoping wouldn't happen, but I cannot second guess God, even though I would like to. Appreciate the calls and texts. We never know when our time is up. It pays to be ready. And I know that you are a born again believer in Jesus. I know that she is in a better place, but we just have to wait our time. But I am fixing to head home. Just pray for me. And blah, blah, blah. Thanks and God bless. That fucking sucks. Kathy was anti-vax. Some of her friends tried to save her. Some pushed her towards death. COVID kills in many ways, fast and slow. It took her very quickly. Get vaccinated. Kathy's post. Here's a little song I wrote called Shove Your Vaccine Up Your Ass. Here's a little song I wrote called Shove Your Vaccine Up Your Ass. The vaccine isn't anything to worry about. It's like getting a flu shot every year. If you get the vaccine, you can still get COVID, but such a mild case, it's usually just being extremely tired. At least you won't die on a ventilator without the shot. Vaccines have helped us live years longer than our forefathers. Once we all build up an immunity, maybe it will go away like polio. Maybe it will come back in a year like the flu. What does the government gain by giving shots? Keeping us healthy? Government gains tax dollars because people keep working and paying tax dollars. The government has a vested interest in keeping things working. Is it about the virus? Control. Tell that to the several family members I have lost in the past three weeks to the virus. They didn't believe in it either. Rachel here tried. I see a lot of myself in Rachel. Sorry if my patriotism offends you. Trust me, your lack of spad offends me more. A patient cured is a customer lost. This is like a fundamental, really bad understanding of how disease works. A lot of things can't be cured. A new mask has been released that will save countless lives. Wow. Here's what you can do with my dose, Joe. Wow. Love it. You could be a carrier. I'm not taking your fucking vaccine. See, she keeps posting this, even though like people, there are people who are clearly trying to reason with her. Okay, then stay away from the rest of the population that gives a damn. Good, and then somebody else, some fucking enabler. It's not about caring about others, as I truly do. It's about you want to blame others. Wait, what? It's not about caring about others, as I truly do. It's about you want to blame others for not believing they way you do freedom of choice this is a bad friend okay i know ableist and classist again but like some of these people it's like you clearly haven't had to use your brain since you graduated high school if you graduated and now you think that you have any anything of value to say to us you you don't your 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 brain doesn't work you don't use it the vaccine that they say is a vaccine is not. It's a shot just like the flu shot. Bulletproof. Scientific reasoning. The flu shot don't prevent the flu just like your COVID shot don't prevent it, nor has it been out for years. And furthermore, why would you put something in your body that you have no idea what's in it?
I don't know, do you like eat food? So you trust your government that much? Yes. Actually, it's a stupid question if you trust the government. The, the better question is in what capacity do you trust the government? I trust, in this case, I trust the government in the capacity of getting a vaccine out so that things can kind of relatively go back to normal and the workforce can continue on like it was before. I trust the government to do that because they have a venture, they have a vested interest in that. To each their own, but I, for one, will not ever take it, go beyond Google and really search the facts that Google or, at, or at Facebook don't allow the truth. Wow, that's such an intelligent Intelligent sounding sentence, Elaine. Christ. Here we are. Please pray for my sister Kathy. She is in the hospital and they are saying she has no brain activity. Please pray she doesn't die lost. Mom, please don't give up yet. You are a fighter. I can't lose you yet. Please fight for me and your grandbabies. I love you, Kathy. You're the best mom anyone could ask for. I know you have more than three days left and you still have years in you. Why did you have to leave me? Love you with all my heart. Rest in peace, baby. Please keep Kathy in your parts. My sister Kathy has passed away. They said it was from COVID. Please pray for her husband and loved ones. Thank you. Well, some people tried. Carl's memes were right about one thing. TikTok. Let's make this clear, just in case you're in the dumbass crowd, fuck you and your vaccine. Any questions? TikTok. Oh man, that is foreboding. If you're outside today, please remember sunscreen only works if other people wear theirs too. Like I said, hasn't had to use his brain since he graduated. Door to door, Delta farce. Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries, we ask, why did the flu disappear? You keep saying that me not wearing a mask is killing you. It's been months, how much longer will it take? Okay, yeesh. I don't need to justify my refusal, you need to prove your right to force me. Carl, I don't want you to get sick. There, that's all I need. Slavery. Wow, yeah, that, that's exactly what it's like, Carl, you got it. Important update, my doctor friend told me to make sure you all know he feels getting the veterinarian ivermectin is unsafe for humans. I just ordered my six month supply of hydroxychloroquine. I would say replace ivermectin with hydroxychloroquine. Here's all you need. Zinc, vitamin D3, vitamin C, hydroxychloroquine. What the fuck is wrong with this, people? I'm gonna fight a deadly infection with vitamins and an anti-parasite. I'm using the anti-parasite to treat the the virus, because I definitely remember my high school biology class. I asked my doctor today how long he thinks this COVID thing will last. He responded with, how should I know I'm a doctor, not a politician? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a dream, and it's, it's Biden being fucking dead. Wow, Carl. That's a nice, what a, what a nice guy. Wouldn't you want to be his friend? This is why some of these people don't have any friends, like, posting comments, trying to reason with them, because, like, who wants to be this guy's friend, right? When he's posting shit like this, who wants to be his friend? This is a fucking sociopath. There's a shortage on everything except masks and ignorance. Change my mind. Well, nope, you're full of, you're full of that, Carl. Here we are. Hello, prayer warriors. I need your help. My family is dealing with COVID. Carl is doing really badly. He's in the hospital with pneumonia COVID. Please keep him in your prayers. My son-in-law is at the very end of his recovery and Miranda and all the girls are mending. Thank you all in advance. But you guys should have got that vaccine, especially with Carl. I disagree. We know five people that had the vaccine and now have COVID. But in a mild case, and probably didn't wear the mask. I still do. No, not mild. They did wear the mask and are also hospitalized. But are they alive? But did they die? Carl's made a post of in the hospital. Jeez. Did they give him hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, or vitamin C, IV? Most hospitals are not doing the correct protocol. It's killing people. No, mo most hospitals are doing the correct protocol. You just don't know what you're talking about. Here's the latest update on my honey, Carl. He's still not feeling very well, but baby steps on the road to recovery. Unfortunately, I can't go see him, and phone calls are difficult. He has his phone on so he can read text messages or comments or messages on Facebook. Thank you for the continued prayers and well, wish well wishes. Damn, Carl, look what they've done to you. And here we go. Delta variant is hitting way too close to everyone's home. With a sad heart, but with a strong faith in Almighty God. Today I kneeled down in prayer, asking for a full recovery of those of COVID-19 and Delta variant and in pain. And yes, Lord, I'm asking you to protect and cover us with your most precious blood, mercy, and forgiveness. Please protect and strengthen us all, but especially the elderly, all medical workers, homeless, unemployed, sick, frontliners, caregivers who are exhausted but not giving up. May I request you to put this prayer message on your status for at least one day 
let us be united in praying for one another. May the Almighty God, the ultimate Savior, bless us and have mercy upon us. My heart is broken. I had a late update on Carl last night that was stable. Three hours later, it went extremely bad. Early this morning, I lost the love of my life. I was with him when his heart had enough. I thank everyone for all your prayers, well wishes, and encouragement. I am very grateful I was able to be with him. He did not die alone. Rip Carl. Until we meet again, I will always love you. Racist MAGA Mike. Fucked around? Found out. Did the mask mandates work? No. Did the vaccine work? No. Let's do it all again. Okay. They didn't work because you didn't fucking do them. <laughs> the second time posting is because it was fact checked and missing context. What the fuck ever. Fuck you fact checkers, you suck. Fact check that, assholes. I'm wearing this mask to keep the virus out of my body and building the fence to keep the mosquitoes out of my yard. Again, the mask isn't to keep the virus out of your body. The mask is to stop the droplets from spreading through the air. It would be more like you're putting up a wooden fence and you're spraying a hose with it to keep water out. Some of it gets through, but it still works. Oh my god. Minneapolis, we are going to rename a stretch of street for George Floyd. Me. Is it a dead end? Wow. Wow, what a charming individual. How come the CDC is only reporting men and women getting the virus? What about the other 23 genders? Are they immune? Yeah, what a nice guy. If you have to carry a card on you to gain access to a restaurant, venue, or an event in your own country, that's no longer a free country. What happens if a cop stops you and asks you for ID? Legally, you don't have to show it to them. But guess what? They can still be assholes and come up with fake bullshit charges anyway. You don't live in a free country, Mike. This is what the next lockdown should look like. All in favor? And it's Fauci behind bars. Why? What the fuck did he do? They never answered that. God, this is genius. How to kill the coronavirus. Hey, Hillary, I hear the coronavirus is going to testify against you. Well, going on day two of sitting in the hospital because COVID pneumonia slash Chinese virus. Yep, it sucks. Wow, being racist up until the very end, Mike. Screw the Taliban. They have once again become public enemy number one. Move over Biden. Let the real heroes take this fight. We're not afraid to do for what is ours. What are you gonna do, Mike? You're in the fucking, you're in the fucking hospital. Impeach Biden, uh-huh. So tired of this shit. I love my wife, Allison, so much for hanging in there. I think a lot of hard work. Also, I'd like to thank my ex, Nicole, for checking in on us, and mainly Allison since this all started. In loving memory of my nephew, Mike, he passed away so suddenly from COVID-19 pneumonia on Sunday. Mike was 45, a paramedic, healthy. He lives... He leaves behind five kids, his wife, Allison, his mother, Kathy, and his sister, Jennifer. He passed away in Lakeville, Florida. We all grew up together, running the old neighborhood in Columbus together, Saturday morning cartoons together, black belt theater together, breaking stuff in the house, and getting paddles together. He knew all my friends from the area. Heartbreaking, this virus is serious. Keep our family in prayers as we will do Lars. As we will do yours. Stay safe and get that vaccine. OMG, I just found out. Can't believe he's gone. Mike, I'll miss you forever. I remember all the times you, your friends, and I, and I went skating for years. Caroline, Ashley, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. This is horrible. I'm so sad. I've known him for a long time. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family and close friends, especially his kids. Rip Mike, you will never be forgotten. We love you. COVID took great person and soul. Really? Great person and soul? Really? This is the great person? I'm not fucking celebrating his death, but Christ. Laura Loomer asked for it and she now has it. I hope I get COVID-19 just so I can prove to people I've had bouts of food poisoning that are more serious and life-threatening than a hyped up virus. Have you ever eaten bad fajitas that will kill you faster than COVID? Anti-Muslim Republican congressional candidate Laura Loomer says she's sick of the coronavirus. Notably, the outspoken far-right anti-COVID vaccine voice now says, I am in so much pain. Wow. Who would have thought? Well, that was a downer, wasn't it? Anyway, thanks to the August patron backers for helping me fund this macabre stuff. Right as we go into the month of October, huh? Thank you to the August patron backers. Benjamin Kessler. Dios. Ian Diaby. George. James Paul. Jai Palamo. Joe Nuts. Lionel. Mellow Cheddar. Suzanne Hendrickson. And Xylorp. Take your vaccines and don't die, so that way you can, uh, you, you can abstain from receiving the Herman Cain Award.